One, two, three. We like gold. Speed in the speed in the model control. I'm sipping the sun like If I have a daughter, but I know I'm not, um, <laughs> I want to name her Dana. Oh! oh. Uh, you can be a light wherever you are, you know, in whatever industry, yeah. whatever platform you have, and wherever you are in life, right? Because people think that you have to wait till you get somewhere to be a light and inspiration, but you can start shining that light right now where you are. Amen. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. We are in New York, um, and if you're new, welcome. It's your girl Dana. Uh, yeah, I just got to New York. Well, I'm here for the weekend. There are actually a few presentations and shows that I missed yesterday and the day before because, I mean, I came for Friday. But I kind of wish I came yesterday. I kind of wish I came on Wednesday because I would have went to the Adore Me show and I, I didn't know Ashanti was performing. I'm so sad, but you know, it's okay. I actually was supposed to get here a little bit earlier, but also the traffic from the airport, obviously, because it's New York. Um, it took me like 40 minutes to get to my hotel, so I was running a little bit late. I took a shower and just quickly did my makeup. And y'all, how did I, for I forgot so many important things. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I left my beauty blender 
So I blended out my makeup with um, a brush. I've actually been doing that lately anyways, but I do like to go in with a, a sponge after to just make sure everything's nice and seamless, but I had to use my foundation brush. So that one's like, whatever. I left, you guys know how, you can see I have a wig on again. I'm loving it. My girl did that. My girl Leah definitely did that. I'm not used to it, especially with the full beat face, so it feels like a lot, but I like it. <laughs> I definitely have to say that frontals or just wigs in general can definitely age you not in a bad way but i feel like i look a lot more grown and mature than i did with my sew-ins or even my silk press that i just had in with the microlinks i feel like it's just like i look like i don't know but it's just giving grown but um i left my wig spray like the got to be glue spray i left my got to be glue why can't I say got to be glue? Oh, but I can say now. So I have nothing in case this lifts, nothing to do the baby hairs. I have an edge brush with some residue, so I just use some water. As you can see, it's lifting little baby hairs. I gotta just lay them down. I left a hot comb. That's like crucial when you have a wig on. And you can see it's already looking kind of hilly on this side, so. I am staying in Soho, I'm staying at the Arlo. I gave you guys a little tour today. I wish it was brighter outside when I gave you guys a tour, but I mean, whatever. So we're gonna see if we can find a beauty supply store close by tomorrow. And I'll make sure to tie my hair down tonight. Um, but yeah, I just wanna fix this bang. Aaliyah told me how to, uh, that girl, I don't know anybody who can curl hair like Aaliyah. It's like different, she's a magician with the curling iron and she was kinda telling me she did tell me to sleep in pink curls last night. I was so freaking tired after packing. I just said, you know what? <laughs> New York is gonna get whatever curls I give it. I did sleep with a head tie on and a bonnet, so that helped, but no man. I came home late at night. Um, I got home at like 3 a.m. from her fixing my hair. She's a real one. But I came home at 3 a.m. with my hair late to the gods because of the layering that we did with the bangs. She said to like push it back. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this. I'm just gonna put on my jewelry and stuff. Oh, earrings from Oma the label. <coughs> Yeah, I'm not over it. I don't know. I don't even think I got to say it in my maintenance vlog. I don't like my nails. And I don't know why I decided to like experiment a day before my trip. So I wanted to go back this morning. I overslept because I stayed up so late. I had to be at the airport for 12. But I woke up at 10.50. So I didn't have time to change the polish. But I, it's giving arts and crafts. And no disrespect to the girl, like I'm going back there. I love the salon, they were so nice. She did the shaping very, very well. Where I messed up was was making them so short and then it doesn't match the inspo. Like it's more hearts and they're smaller and my nails are shorter so it's like, it's just, you know those ones, yeah, the vision didn't, it just didn't, um, it's not exactly what it was supposed to be. <laughs> but it is what it is. I was thinking of doing my nails out here, but it's not that serious, girl. But so as soon as I get back, I'm changing my nails. This would have looked nice with some silver. I'm not going to lie, because it's like it's giving gunmetal. This looks like a gunmetal purse or shoe, but I'm doing red. Finally, bringing out my red um, Brandon black with it. Yeah, this would have been a vibe. I forgot how big these earrings are. So is it giving Bottega? Bottega dupes. Or those hoops, those chunky hoops. <gasps> or I could bring these out. I haven't worn these yet. Is it? I guess it's up to me. I can either do it this way or I like this way. I haven't worn these yet. What do we think? Ooh, this is different. I've never worn. Oh, should I give? I think I should give the Bottega dupes a break, no? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but they're just. Okay, y'all, which earring? I mean, you guys can't help me, but which one are you picking?
I don't know, I feel like this is giving something different. We're gonna go with this one because it's just, yeah. And you can see it more anyways because my hair is so long. Oh, these are so freaking cute. I will link these down below. You're not even gonna see my bracelets anyway, so I'm gonna just, um, just do these two. Where's my gold? I didn't pack my gold necklace. I took it off and forgot to put it on. I have no necklaces for this trip. It is what it is. Maybe I can like, I wanna see if I can go to like a jewelry pop-up or something tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I can find one. Because girl, we need some more accessories. Absolutely. Wait, or these. Well, I mean, I already put these in. I'm gonna take this. This little background music, I just like, I can't. So initially, I styled it like this. So I was gonna do these red heels with the black bag, but I kind of like the G vibe of these. Oh, but the red is also a moment. Okay, let's just see. I like the edgy vibe of these with the dress. I don't, I can't lie, but then. <clears throat> The red with the denim is just, yeah. But I like these shoes more. Not with, uh, not with this though. Uh-uh. So I guess we're going with the red pumps. It's okay. <laughs> Let's just do the red pumps. I was trying to do a more calm fit tonight. My fingers are so small. So I'm gonna just put this in here. For my perfume, I wanna Wear one of these perfumes that my bestie key got me. Um, I guess we could do Gucci Guilty. So I'll do some of this Gucci Guilty. Oh, it smells good. All right, mixed with. I'm actually getting frustrated because this hotel is small, girl. Okay. It's cute, but it's small. I'm running out of freaking space every two seconds. What's this? Mmm, Gypsy Water um, by Rado. Oh, it smells so good. Let me show you guys the full look. Here we go. Head out. Here's a look that we're doing. So, full outfit details. Earrings are from Oma the Label. This denim dress is from White Fox Boutique. I don't know if it's still available because I got this when I worked with them on a haul. Brandon Blackwood Kendrick trunk. And then my heels are from Christian Louboutin. I got these in like 2018, 2017. But they're red suede um, pumps. That's the look. Yeah, let's go.
Throwing dirt on my old name Only gets worse when you know things You don't see the perks of this whole thing But you get real on the pill and I like it You just like my sidekick I just wanna ride, fulfill all your desire Keep you in the front, never in the back You're never on the side of You're a real ass woman and I like it I don't wanna fight
stressing on ya Since the last undressing session I'm not really sure if you've been checking I'm progressing, I just heard myself just popping out in Macedonia And even Serbia, I don't mean to burden ya If you got a man since then, I understand Last thing I wanna do is get you jammed Especially if he's the fan, he probably never wanna hear my shit again And I need every single sound scan But if you single and you down then I'm in your town feeding for another round I was counting down the days My battery is like dead, so I don't know how long this clip's gonna be. Probably see y'all in the morning after this. Shout out to my Uber driver for stopping at this pizza spot in Manhattan. 99 cents pizza? I don't know, it was like close to the, Adid the Adidas store. I got me a two slices of pizza. Cause girl, I seen that the obviously the room service is closed. I forgot how much New York pizza just hits and all the seasonings. Good morning, guys. I am getting ready. I knocked out last night. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what happened because I was on the phone with my boyfriend. And last thing I remember, we were talking and then I woke up. It was like 9 a.m. Yeah. I <laughs> Like, I slept through the night. Like, I don't even, girl. But, and yeah, anyways, oh, there's something in my eye. Shit, is it a hair? What is it? Oh, it's an eyelash. Ugh. Uh-uh, no, this thing is jerking me in my eye. <sighs> Why now? I've had these lashes on for the last 20 minutes. That is so crazy. Ugh, I like wanna rub my whole eye right now. But, um, hopefully it just like goes away. Anyways, my makeup looks so so good today i think it's because i'm wearing eyeliner and i have not been wearing eyeliner it just makes it i don't know if you wear eyeliner you know that little 
razzle dazzle that it adds to your eyeshadow i go through these phases where i'm like no i don't want eyeliner it's ruining the look and then like this so yeah we're on me loving eyeliner right now all of a sudden today <laughs> which means you guys are probably gonna see me wearing it for the rest of my trip and for a little bit when i get back home as well because i'm just weird like that but anyways i'm just as you can see getting ready i wish i didn't forget my flexi rods because i'm like i wouldn't have to be doing this right now i'm gonna meet up with a girl that i know from toronto la chanel um we've been following each other on instagram for a little while now and she works at the webster in toronto i've gone there but anytime i go i i miss her like i never i never end up seeing her and i think one time when i went i was walking to my car and then i seen her like walking with another girl i know that works there olivia and i was like wow i missed her i literally have gone there a few times and i've never like like she's never there when i'm there um, but I seen that so literally as soon as I got to my hotel, I seen it that she posted that she's in Soho. So I messaged her. So we're gonna meet up for brunch and then we're actually gonna go to the I have an event with Doors NYC. It's like an influencer pop-up. I think I was telling you guys about it yesterday. I feel like pull some like designer samples. I'm gonna go there and I did RSVP myself and a plus one, but as y'all can see, I ended up coming so low, so I was just like I mean, I'm not a mean girl, y'all. Like, I'm just super, super friendly. And, I mean, it seems like she's cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think I might meet up with um, Daekwon today. If, uh, if you guys know, I design eight. Well, we're going to see if we, we can meet up because, like, we both have some stuff going on. We just said hopefully we can meet up. Is my titty out? No. But, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to lunch we were gonna go to Sadell's, but it's booked up I'm not surprised there's one in toronto and i have not i've been meaning to go and take you guys but we just haven't gone yet but i'm gonna go when i'm in toronto because they're actually attached to kith kith opened up in toronto and like yeah we got some things to do and see girl in the city i'm so happy like all these new places in toronto are just toronto's doing their thing i can't lie dude instead we're gonna go to citizens of soho um it's like a cafe and brunch spot it's actually really cute so but there's more than one so we're just seeing which one is closest to both of us so i asked her about the Ch citizens of chelsea i like that it's different names depending on the location that's like cool but um, i'm not even like ugh like what is happening <laughs> but yeah girl i don't know we're just gonna see which one but we're going to citizens citizens I do need to film some short form content. Um, like I'm getting ready. I think I'm just gonna do like me putting on my lip combo. And then I'm gonna film me getting dressed. I can't believe I've like, y'all. Yeah. This side's fine. This side. It's because the wig is too big. Aaliyah was telling me it's like really big. She had to, yeah, just <laughs> do a lot to get it to fit. Cause apparently I have a really, small head and to think i had a big ass head girl every stylist that does my hair tells me i have a really small head and i'm just like well it makes me feel better but <laughs> i thought my hair was big girl okay let's see uh i just i can't get the grip i need the grip yeah there we go Okay, I'm gonna finish curling my hair. I'm basically done. I'm gonna get dressed, film a little TikTok, and then I'll see you guys when we're leaving. I'll show you guys my outfit. When I tell you guys that this lip combo has me in a serious chokehold, is this Refi Lip Sculpt, Cynthia? It's just doing the damn thing. And I never would budge on my old lip liner. I was using the Makeup Forever one, the Limitless Brown, for like three years. <laughs> Still love the Makeup Forever one, but this one right here, this Fenty Lipstick and Pose Clean, is that's like all I use this and Maza Lava, and then this. It's when I say nude sticks, they're, they're big one with this. This is the hydropeptide lip butter Dolce Nude. Okay, I didn't need to squeeze it all like that, but <laughs> it's this shimmery brown, and it just looks so good. It's all I've been wearing.
yeah i'm about to head out and take some photos so i am dressed i'm just gonna put on my perfume i filmed me getting dressed but i'm gonna have to film it when i get back refilm it when i get back because you know the lighting which is not it Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm wearing um, a Delina exclusive courtesy of Scentbird. I showed you guys this perfume when I was working with them. It smells so good. Like, I'm just so happy to have this fragrance. My wrist. Well, you're not going to smell my wrists because they're covered. I'm finally wearing this Hanifa sweater. So, so beautiful. I was deciding between the gold. I love this azure blue with this gold. What the? Where did I? That's how big it is. It fell in here. Love it with this. But something about these earrings, they just, I don't know. I feel like they just go better. And yeah, so. But I love, I love the gold. I have these in gold. <laughs> I think I'm fine with these, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then this is my outfit. Anifa top, Zara cargos. I love these pants. I actually call it number two. I'm just wearing it with my Caperni um, mini swipe bag. Oh, this outfit is so freaking cute. Yeah, girl. Mm, this is cute. <clears throat> oh, I have to get a picture. I gotta get a pic. Love. Love this outfit. <laughs> I need to eat, y'all. I have not eaten. I have a headache. And I woke up to my cycle here, which is weird. I always cramp before. Like, I knew it was coming. But before every period, I get cramps. Girl, no cramps. I woke up, went to use the bathroom, and I was, like, I gasped for a second. And I remembered, you're a woman. So, anyways, let's go. So I just 
got to Citizens of Soho. I ordered a matcha latte. And I'm here with Chanel. We're welcoming Dana to the city. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we just here. Oh yeah, I need some sweetness. Yeah. <laughs> I like my matcha sweet. Yeah. I should have asked for vanilla or something. Yeah, that's what vanilla. I asked. Oh, they don't have? Yeah. It's very healthy. It's very healthy. It does feel like vegan spot though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people in New York are like, kind of like, there's a, which I don't wrong them because mm -hmm. it gets terrible. your vibe is if you want um day pictures or night pictures or okay yeah i definitely want to get some day ones okay. and then we could do night too and then mission on tomorrow <laughs> and taking a photo and then i have another look tomorrow yes uh, <laughs> period you can still do you still want to want to try to take photos today because no. <laughs> no i feel like it's not like the sun is not hitting the way you want it to like, right and so like if, anytime I try to take pictures in the evening and if, if I want a day vibe, it never works. Yeah. I know those ones. Me out like a light, like a light. Love this song. I used this on my TikTok video and they pulled all the freaking songs. Oh I'm so mad because the part where she says cologne, I yeah. showed my perfume. Oh, so now it's now, just, yeah, it doesn't give nothing. It doesn't give. It's on you. It's on you. I'm gonna, but it says you can replace it. Oh, but like, music. yeah, I'm gonna find some. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> I really haven't even, like, I just mute, mute as a <laughs> no, by himself. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back at my hotel. Just went to our hotels to reset, recharge. So I told you guys that I did get invited to a fashion show today. It was the Indonesia show, Indonesia Fall Winter for 2024. Got there, so the show was at five, so we went. Um, we went to the show, couldn't get in, it was packed. Yeah, it was packed, they weren't letting anybody else in. He was saying, even if I let you guys in, you guys are not even going to see, be able to see the runway because of, that's, how much, that's how packed it was. Um, and then also she was like, it's, People were leaving and she's like, oh, like the show's basically over anyways. I don't know, I didn't know it was that short of a show, but whatever. So I, and when the door started opening and people were coming out, it was just hot air just hitting us. And we're just like, yeah, mm. <laughs> that's how I knew she wasn't lying. The girl was not lying. She was not lying because the door, every time the door opened, some warm air was slapping me in the face. And I was like, 
that's crazy so we just went downstairs took a little bit of content but honestly i'm re-wearing this tomorrow morning to get some pictures and then we went to the doors nyc influencer lounge that i got invited to like it was cool i did get to look at some pieces there's actually something i did want to pull i don't know why i didn't end up taking it i have so many outfits of my own that i need to you know wear and film and stuff like that so i was just like that show yesterday went until 11 30. i got back home at like 12 30. i thought it was gonna be done at 9 30 and it went till 11 30 12 because it was just running late i have a migraine my head hurts so bad i know i haven't been drinking a lot of water i ate late today but i've had this little headache all day and that's why i really wanted to order the banana bread french toast at citizens of soho but because i get a headache when i have too much sugar and not enough water that would have just made it worse and i was like no i don't even want to deal with that right now so um i can only imagine the migraine i would have or the level of migraine um i had it but oh i really want to try that i maybe might go back tomorrow i banana bread french toast like what sounds so good sounds so good i love banana bread and i love french though so i'm not in the bed in my jeans by the way um that's gross well i think that's gross so i'm just wearing my pajama shorts i'm meeting up with her um in a bit there's a me feeder fashion show and then a me feeder after party so i'm gonna actually go downstairs y'all i'm hungry there's a card here from the hotel and it tells you like things that you could do you also get 10 percent off of dining here so there's something called linden's for breakfast lunch and dinner and then there's something called foxtail and like i just need something to eat so i'm gonna go downstairs and just see what i can find even like a tea coffee and like a muffin or something i don't know Yeah, I'm feeling tonight's look. So I'm gonna take these off for a little bit. But I just finished filming me getting dressed. But yeah, so I'm going. Ow, Jesus. I'm going to the Me Feeder after party. I actually ordered some tea after at the same restaurant downstairs. The ravioli was so good. I ordered it with intentions to save some for later, but I ate it up quick. I was clearly starving. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Let me actually. Cause I'm gonna need a jacket. So I did film a get dressed with me, but I didn't include the jacket. But I don't think it matters. Oh, it's cute with the jacket. Okay, probably record it when I get back. <laughs> Cause my light died anyways, right at the end of me, like you know, showing the finished look. I'll show you guys my outfit. Cause it's cute. So here is my outfit of the night. <laughs> we serve in party. So this dress is from Macy Willen. It's either Willen or Wylan. But yeah. I tried to link this when I wore it. I'll see if I can find it. There's other colors too. There was a pink one on Farfetch. I tried to link it, but it was sold out. I actually think the pink one's cuter. The orange is cuter, but the orange. They've been sold out for a minute. I think it's I'm gonna find the link though for you guys. But that's what we're wearing. And then I'm just wearing this um gold woven clutch from miss lola and then my heels are also from miss lola i have a discount code with them dana if you want to shop on there and get a little discount i'll put it in the description bar as well and i'm gonna throw on my pretty little thin coat so um yeah we're gonna <laughs>
had 200 for lunch. Last night I fought on a cunt. 24 shows in a month. Look at that time it was crunch. Diamonds is crushing. Louis V, but my t-shirt is tough. Cold as a slush. Belly rinse on, sipping a test. Go get it up, must. Fuck up, good enough, pussy, no must. Love and I lust. My cool lawyer, we trusted in us. So, I had a little quick bite downstairs again, and then I quickly got ready. As you guys can see, I'm wearing the same outfit from yesterday. We're actually going to a Tresemme event. So, we're going to take some pictures because um, it's in Soho. I wish I wore these sunglasses with it yesterday. Because they're... Is there a vibe? I didn't bring any sunglasses for this look because my black ones don't even go as well with this outfit as this one. I wish I had these in the gray. There's like a grayish silver one. They would have been perfect, but it's fine. I got some photos in this look yesterday, but they're like photo dump filler photos. Nothing, you know, like feed worthy, like on its own. So that's the goal for today. There's a ASAP Rocky day party and then we're supposed to be going to the Black and Fashion Council presentation, which that's what I'm really, really excited about. It showcases upcoming Black fashion designers. I've been wanting to go to that for a while. Ready? Random photographer just asked to take our picture, so we just did a little photo shoot real quick. But we're still trying to find somewhere to take our photos. Those are so cute. Where are y'all from? Toronto. Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long are y'all here for? Um, just until like the yeah, till the week. The week. In the week. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Like, I love it. I'm gonna keep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get your Instagram. It's on you. <laughs> yes? Oh, yeah. You're wow, Don't feel awkward. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. That's mine, yeah. Oh, wow. You can, Why um, did I crack my phone? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I ran over it. Oh, shit. Oh. I dropped a four lift. Oh, my, oh, my God. Can I shit. Mine is coming out. And then. Oh, those are fire. Oh my god, those are fire. Oh my god, can I try again? Oh my god. You should, because those are fire. Yeah, can you actually vlog? Of course. I gotta test the sound. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma test the sky. Gotta test the fire. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma test the sky. Gotta test the fire. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the ride before I can, got the shit pop, the doors closed. I felt like bad boy street team. I couldn't work the lights. That was so cute. Okay. No, that was so cute. Okay. Uh, we just took photos on my camera, but shout out to him for getting the shots because his look way better. <laughs> way better. Wait, whiting? Like the fish. I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> I was ready. I'm trying. Again. There you go. Thank you so much. Can I get your IG? Yeah, I'm gonna get your thing. Well, just walk. To the, um, it's Derek. I go by DW. Okay, DW. And you are Chanel. Chanel. Dana. Dana. I love that. Yeah. Can't wait to. I wanted uh, if I have if I have a daughter, but I know I'm not. Um, <laughs> I wanted to name her Dana. Oh. oh so gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> Say hi to her vlog. That was a good moment right there. Well, yeah, I didn't even know. Was... W Snapchat. I'm out here with Dana. Chanel. And I got Chanel, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's so good, y'all. I hope some of you guys run into him out here. Make sure you guys get some photos because it is everything. <laughs> there we go. Now yeah, I look like I'm camera ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Okay, perfect. I got you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. I love you like a fat kid love cake. You know what? I love you like a fat kid love cake. You know what? I love you like a fat kid love cake. You know my style. I like anything to make you smile. is called infrastructure and it's inspired by a building that was like being built right across the street from my home Ooh. i watched the full process and the beams from beginning to end they're what? building is this uptown building. no it's right in our health kitchen oh health yeah kitchen. right but this one is actually called the wrecking ball there was a wrecking ball like right on top of the building the whole time yeah so i incorporated the wrecking ball with the beams and so this is the wrecking ball necklace seen on the model this is the smaller version same, uh, uh, same style, so just cute. different concepts. Yeah. These, and feel free to like touch, try them on if you like. Um, these are called the structure rings. Uh, this is the 10 millimeter version, mm -hmm. and it has Ooh. the beams, and it's open on the side as well. I like that. And then this is the five and a half millimeter version. It's like shaped in like a hexagon, yeah. and um, 18 karat gold. And this one is the 18 karat gold uh, with diamonds. Oh, oh I stunning. like that. That is stunning. Like, that's stunning. That is so Um, So I was, uh, I started designing, I've been doing this for like 12 years now. Um, I started working for a small jewelry company. It started from an internship and I just, um, every day I was doing custom designs, helping with orders, everything, and started my own. Yes, yeah, and these are the drop earrings. Um, it's like my take on a old Hollywood drop earring. Yeah, these are set with uh, round white diamonds, and these are set with uh, rotolite light garnets. Thank you. Thank Those you. are so cute. Thank you so much. Working for this, I was working for the company for three years, and then started on my own. But I stayed in the industry. Yeah, so I stayed in the industry. Met all the different people in the industry. Yeah. Diamond sorcerers, uh, color stone sorcerers different jewelers, just uh, e-commerce. I have my own website, qohjewelry.com, but yeah, no brick and mortars at the moment. So I should be... Yeah. 
I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. These are beautiful. Thank you. It looks good on me. Like, yeah. It's good. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I love this. Yes. Thank you. This is, I like the mini too. It's so it's yeah, like dainty. Loves, it's so, everyone it's loves so the mini, and I made this first, and then the mini was like, you know what? Let me make something to come. Someone might not want to wear that every single day. Yeah. They might just want to wear it to an event or something. Um, so the mini one is kind of like a pendant size. If you want, I can take down your email and just send you like our, our digital lookbook if you'd like. Yes, please. Yeah. I would love that. The first collection, my, the initial um, oh, that's cute. collection. That's cute. I like that. Thank you. And I have the pendants as well. And it comes with and without diamonds. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Welcome to Silver and Riley. My name is Laura Banjo. Dana. Dana, thanks mm -hmm. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so we're Riley's travel and fashion accessories, and we are made in Italy, and it's all about fusing style with functionality, uh, and you know, really creating high quality products that are transcendent of time. So you can touch and feel the quality. Uh, the bags look good, they look bomb, but they're also gonna last you a long time. Yeah. And they're gonna function really well. So you know, if you're going out, you need to have a bag that fits all kinds of stuff. That's the bag for you. <laughs> yes, that's me. No, well, so these are actually like they're similar, right? But these are these colors are more summer friendly, right? These are more uh, fall the winter. Yeah. Palettes. Yeah. The, the latest bag is called the New Yorker bag. That's the latest thing <laughs> we launched. Uh, and it's this bag, right? So that's it so is. Cute. So all the all the bags are actually named after cities around the world. Uh, so this is the New Yorker, and I wanted to create a bag that was like super iconic and timeless. Like you can wear this bag 30 years ago, you can wear it 30 years from now, and it's just like it's just transcendent of time. And it is a bag that you can, you know, it has a very sophisticated closure uh, with the twist lock, and it fits quite a bit in it as well. Uh, it has like multiple compartments, it has a zip open as well, and then it has the back pocket. Very yeah, right, that is very cute. Functional. And it comes with a strap. Yeah, I think I could go to the like the airport and one of these. Yes. Yeah. Let yeah. me show you. This is, everyone asks like, what's my favorite, personal favorite bag? It's actually the this one, right? The so green one. My personal bag. That's why it looks a little dusty. <laughs> <laughs> My personal bag, okay. but I carry it to, make, to the airport all the time. Oh, so oh the thing you that. It's spacious! Fun, fun. I feel like you could turn up on computer. I was just thinking that. I was oh. just. <laughs> oh. The laptop fits super easy in it. Oh my god. Yeah. And you still have a lot of space. A lot of space in there. And you know, it comes with a strap as well, so you can carry it. Just like the with the top handle, which I feel is so boss, like when you carry it like that. Mm -hmm. It's just very commanding and it draws a just Sit. attention, right? Like just walk in anywhere, <laughs> like hold this. Yeah. It's heavy to that yeah. <laughs> no, but this is a good this is a great size bag. It okay. is. Walking through the airport and then you can hunch over exactly. Or you can wear it as a strap. The strap is super thick, so it just like hangs over your if you wear it as a crossbody. Yeah. That one is so cute. Yeah, so that's that the mini so version cute. of this one. I've been wearing that bag for three years, and oh, I actually wow. brought it. It's my personal bag as well. Um, I brought it to show how the leather wears after three years of use. So this is what it looks like brand new, and this is what it looks like when you beat it up with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but it still holds up really, really well. Right, yeah. So, and I feel like the leather, you can touch, you know, feel the leather. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. It's like after use. And that's what it looks like right now. So, I fit all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, I love that. It's <laughs> literally love that. You're like, this is my new bag. Right, it's my every new bag. And then we have silk scarves as well. Love um, this. So it's also made in Italy. They come in two variations. There's the satin, mm -hmm. um, which is more glossy, and then the 12 silk, which is more of a matte finish. I love this. 22? Yes. Oh, wow. The colors, different textures. This is so pretty. Oh my god, y'all know I love green. This is so me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Chanel, nice to meet you. And Dana, nice, oh, to, nice to meet you. you. Amazing. Dana, nice to meet you. Nice you or I nails. I'm trying to see what you guys buy. Yeah, it is. Oh, they match? Yeah. Outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Outfit. You're in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> We see you, Richard. Uh, we lived in New York for a little while, and now we live in LA. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So we just in town for the week of fashion. Of course. <laughs> the week of, course. of fashion. It's gotta be. The fashion got me weak. <laughs> yeah. We in town for the week of fashion. The fashion got me weak. I can't even speak. As long as I walk up in a place looking real chic. <laughs> that part. Cards. <laughs> You guys, do you guys want to see the collection? This is fall 24. No, all day. Mm -hmm. okay. and we appreciate her for that. We do. Chanel. Chanel. Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Dana. Dana. Yes. Nice to meet you. 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 Um, and the overarching theme is that uh, you can be a light wherever you are, you know, in whatever industry, whatever platform you have, and wherever you are in life, right? Because people think that you have to wait till you get somewhere to be a light and inspiration, but you can start shining that light right now where you are. Amen. We literally just came from church, too. Oh, I love that. So the, um, there's a lot of like uh, fabrics that play with the light. This is crushed velvet, okay? Yeah. And the thing about crushed velvet, if you don't crush it, it won't shine the way that it shines. Come That's on. a metaphor for light. Sometimes mm -hmm. you get crushed, you may be destroyed, but that thing make you more shiny. You Ooh. make it catch the light. Yes. You Amen. Come on, now. You look better a little bit when you crush. <laughs> and so now we also have uh, a lot of track suiting and leisure suits in this collection. Um, and we did it here with this uh, Lurex spandex. So, you know, soup it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love, we love track suits. So, we did it here uh, with a track skirt. Okay. And I think with this one, we're right on track. You get it? <laughs> so, if we were to put it on a runway collection, we would have put that right up under the end. Style it up real nice. Come on now. Let's do it. So, you guys just color, but it's a light in the dark, though. Yeah, yeah. Light. So, like, you see, yeah, we got the dark, but it's still. Then, yeah. This is uh, gray in such a way that it looks like it's illuminated from underneath. Like, like, hmm. And so we, we dealt with gradients in the linear version yeah. so that it could kind of feel like spectral light. The same way like if you have one white pure light that's refracted through a prism or like a rainbow, that's how you, you get, get the rainbow. You get the right? rainbow. Like it starts out as one light, right? But you understand through the prism that that one light is made up of many lights. Come on, man. Many different Somebody. colors and hues. You might call it too. We're going to let it sit there for a minute. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then we have it here. Go ahead, touch that. You see how lightweight that is? Yeah. That is really lightweight. You feel the crushed velvet. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You see, it's <laughs> Our girl loves a set, right? Bruce, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, and then we, we're going to prepare that, that set right there with a skirt. Band. Oh, you can even mix and match. Do a little high waist, a wide leg trouser with that. And then green, like a nice little shape, you know, small in the waist and pretty in the face. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Our, uh, favorite dress of the season. Well, actually, both of them are. But this here is the cricket sequin, and we would take that, and I would just like put it back to that with that thing. How cute that metallic boots, and you ready to go. Come on. I love you that shoes, too. Oh, thank you. They can put them. Might have a little slide on, right? You ain't expect it. Might have a little slide on. Might have a little slide on. Yeah, I know. I'm loving the energy. You guys just. Are you guys doing this animated? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I love that. What are you guys sign? With Libras. Oh, I love Libras. Yeah. 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 But you guys balance each other out there. Yeah, yeah, the balance, the scales, right? Yeah. I'm a Libra rising, so. You're a Libra rising. I know about the rising and the falling thing. <laughs> They might think that I'm a leader. I know, but what does it mean, like the rising? You know, it's like a strong character trait that you have. Oh, it's like your personality, right? Yeah, like I'm a born Virgo, but I have Libra traits. Oh. I'm a my moon is in Libra. Yeah. Okay, so rising, rising is what it speaks to the sun. Then you have certain things in this house. Yeah. 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 Hi there. 
Alright, move to Toronto. Do you guys know? Toronto. Okay. Oh, cool. I used to I used to live in Detroit. Oh, so you close. Always, yeah, you're close. Uh, this is yeah. Other, this all symbols from Ghana. I think it's symbols from Ghana. Mm. And this is a symbol for the logo, the name of the brand is Gods, spelled GVDS. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much means gifted with visual diverse skills. Uh, this is a symbol for providence and divinity, the eye that sees all, for vision, symbol for wealth, and the symbol for the king having leadership to lead your people to greatness. Mm -hmm. So what I did with the jury was join inspiration from African symbols to tell a story, but from a quality perspective, it's very high quality. So I use rhodium plate wow. with 18K gold. So we also have it in real gold, real diamond, so you can customize it. Mm. So the, taste level, the silhouettes and the details, you see the same symbol used yeah. as a lock. And also it's removable. You can change one link, you can use it as a keychain, you can reduce it for different bag options. The blazer, oh, I love that. And it's all made in Lagos. So the clothes nice. you see in the bags, you see in the clothes. I like that. I as well. Ooh, I can see you wearing something like this. Details. Yeah. <laughs> You and the overlay, the zipper pole is all custom as well. I designed everything. Oh, I like that. Skirt. That is really classic. Uh, and then the back has the hand beaded. Mm -hmm. And again, it's the same silhouette you see with the curves. And the jacket you see in the back. So oh, that's dope. It's the same silhouette. It's leather, all made in can. Leather is from Kano, Nigeria. This is brushed suede, sheepskin, goat skin, all combined together. So you see the same curves on the jacket. Yeah, he's really talented. Silhouette. So again, this is like when you see the curves, when you see details. <laughs> Even in the the pants, yeah. the rhinestones on the pants, you can see it as well. It's a white like pants, it's unisex, and it's an overlay. These are cute. With the zipper and the elastic in the back for comfort. So I love your attention to detail. Asymmetric zippers. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's high. The custom tie and the details you can see as well. Yeah, I just got a matcha latte and it came in a wine glass. <laughs> We're just at this uh, cafe connected to the building where we just went to the Black and Fashion Council. It's called Sono Toscano. Just our little matcha latte. Cute in here. Like, it's really cute in here. So cute. <laughs> I look with the camera, it's so easy to get your aesthetic. Oh, this is some good matcha. <laughs> I just had one today and I'm like, my stomach's hurting. I can't see it. Oh my god. Your stomach's hurting? From yeah. the I, it was regular enough. Oh, okay. So that's yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. It's very fucked up. Yeah, this place is cute.
so cute. Oh, go ahead. Don't mind me. Thank you so much. Good morning. Mm -mm. You hear that? I think I'm getting, I don't know. I'm not even gonna say anything, I'm getting sick, but I've been feeling off. I think I noticed last night, my throat has just been a little, I don't even know. My throat's not sore, but it just feels, you know, you feel like you've been screaming a lot, but I haven't been, or like, I don't know, but my throat has been feeling a little itchy and just like raspy and just like weird. And then this morning, um, when I woke up, my head felt very heavy. I'm pretty sure it's just the liquor. But I didn't drink that much yesterday. I had a lemon drop, or sorry, I had a lychee martini at Say Less. That food was so good. Chanel recommended it. She said it's like a nice little vibe spot. It's popular. It's kind of mixy, she was saying. There was oh, quite a few people there. I would definitely go back. Because um, I was thinking there was... Was it Buddha, Buddha Bar, Buddha Khan? I also had down, because I think I told you guys, I actually had planned to do a little solo trip here a month ago. There was another restaurant I put down that I really wanted to go to, Miss Lily's, but she said it's apparently overpriced. It's Caribbean food, tan, I put down tan. I don't even remember what type of food it was. I just, when I was doing my research, it seemed like very, highly recommended and then kokomo nyc um i've heard about that one and then i actually follow one of the owners on instagram riri graham and then i checked it out it looked really nice i got an iced coffee from downstairs i'm actually shocked this is my first iced coffee since i've been here i'm very proud of myself <laughs> So good. Anyways, I'm gonna start on my hair this time. I've been doing my makeup first, but I just wanna get my hair out the way. So today was supposed to be my last day. I'm supposed to leave. My flight's at like 7.30 in the evening. However, I think we're extending our stay. I don't have kids. I'm having a good time. I usually do this. I'm like anxious. I talked myself out of coming here like at least 10 times. I have this like, I don't know what it is. But I have like this weird anxiety, this like little voice in my head that will like try to talk me out of like doing things um, because I'm scared, especially because it's solo, right? So it just so worked out, you know, me and Chanel, we've been kicking it every day. I'm about to meet up with her. We're going to um, the RH. I've actually never been to the restoration hardware restaurant in Canada um, at Yorkdale. It's really nice. I meant to eat there one time, but they were booked, I think, or I don't know if I wasn't feeling the menu, but she loves going there. And honestly, I've seen, like, when I, I follow her on Instagram, I've seen her there on Instagram quite a few times. She definitely does love that place, like she says. Um, and the scenery for pictures and stuff is really, really nice. We did take some photos last night at Say Less, but I was not really feeling them. I'll show y'all. It's just not... So, so far, I only got the one photos. I posted them last night because I needed to post something finally because I was gonna wait for that photographer that you guys saw that was taking the photos those photos I wish I got to show you guys like on camera what the oh, fire like the quality it's giving New York vibes New York just you know what I mean that whole vibe we don't know when we're gonna get them I DM'd him but I mean it could be today it could be in two weeks right so I was like I'm not gonna wait if I get those photos from him, I will post them whenever I get them. I hate posting like the same look twice, but whatever. This is an exception. But I took these on my I took some of my camera, took some of my phone. Something's going on with my Canon G7X for photos though. It's like they've been coming out grainy. This one's grainy too. I had to edit the hell out of it. But this is the photo. Eight zone. Like so cute. The lighting's a bit off. Yeah, you could probably tell well, I don't know if you could tell here. But yes y'all were coming at my neck about the top and just the outfit details which is why i was like i just gotta post something so you guys can get the details because yeah like i left y'all hanging with a little tease on my story and 
I got at least 50 DMs about my outfit um, linking it. So I felt really bad. Now I'm thinking if I should have made this the first one. But I feel like you see my outfit. I already posted it. You see my outfit better in these ones. And I'm trying to post like more scenery. Love this one. But I really like the color grading of the iPhone photos. iPhone photos just take the like the lighting is just everything. Oh, this one's cute too. Yeah, we got some cute photos. And then I took a photo at the Black and Fashion Council pop-up thing. So I got those done. So we're going to take some photos today. Photos I took last night. I'm not really... If she was saying something about taking photos there, she doesn't really... Every time she's tried, it doesn't turn out that great. And I see why. Like, something with the lighting. Like, they're not bad. It's just not really... I don't know. It's not really my vibe. <laughs> Maybe, like, photo dump. I need to get a move on. <sighs> but yeah, girl. I didn't mean to be so chatty today. But I feel like I also haven't really... That's how you know I'm having a good time. I am loving this unit from Elite Units. Love, love, love it. And it's the fact that a 24 inch... I keep forgetting this is 24 inches because it's it feels like 28 inches. Which is kind of, I guess, for us short girls. If we still want that like long look, we don't have to spend as much money. I know y'all have been seeing that your girl is getting better and better at curling her hair. <sighs> Don't y'all just love that for me? Cause the, it, <laughs> it used to be very sad. It was very sad why I couldn't curl hair at my grown age, but. <laughs> I actually wanna film a TikTok where you guys help me get dressed. So I'm gonna do that today. Because one of my outfits, I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if I should wear the boots or if I should wear the heels. I actually genuinely don't know. Time is just flying and it's very scary. It's actually, I'm scared of time. Because the way the time just... I'm just going to curl my hair, do my makeup, film my TikTok, and I'll show you guys, you know, what we end up wearing after. Definitely go in with the sponge. But girl, the brush just gives, it just, it just gives. Like going with the funky powder foundation using the Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent honey. I just love a bronzed face. Like, I used to apply so much highlight here back, back in the day. Like why was my brow bone metallic? <laughs> we went to say less last night which is a restaurant food was so good and then after that we went to pergola which is a hookah lounge close to the ending this guy came up to us as i'm about to take my shot i have to just say this because i was just like what is happening as we're about to take our shots he grabs my shot and takes the shot i just was like <laughs> i did not even know what to say he's like oh no no don't worry mommy i got you I'm gonna get you another shot. When men do cringe things, it's just like, first of all, like you already know as women, we don't actually say or respond how we actually would because some of us be getting punched in the face or I need to just line the lash line because I don't need to see that glue. But these lashes are so, I love a spaced out wispy lash with some eyeliner. It, like, it just makes my eyes look really, really pretty. This CoverGirl one, it just eats. It eats, honestly. Like, ooh, yeah, the face is beat, babes. The spray. I've been wearing my makeup all day and like when I go out in the night, I just touch it up. So I want this to last all day. This is the makeup. I just had to touch it up a little more powder because honestly, it was looking a little too dewy. And honestly, I have just been loving a matte face lately. So yeah, this is the finished look. Makeup is eating. I'm, I'm just going to film my outfit and then we're gonna head out you get just with me for lunch in new york and i need help putting together this little outfit here i did not pack any other silver jewelry i'm gonna wear these amazon bottega dupes of course <laughs> these are the extra large ones extra large and in charge <laughs> that was so pretty oh yeah that's cute it's cute i'm going for like a sporty chic look and then the set is from misbehave 
here's my dilemma. So I'm not sure if I want to wear these boots or these heels. It does look really nice with the boot, but I also feel like it's a very typical, predictable pairing. That's cute. I think these both look so good. I really don't know. Obviously, the leather and leather, it just ties everything together. But I have barely gotten to wear these heels because I feel like they're very more casual. And this is the perfect fit to wear it with because this is like a sporty, chic, athleisure kind of look. I'm going to wear it with this fur coat. So it's like safe. I'm going to wear the heels. I'm going to wear the heels. I'm going to wear heels. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. I'm going to take the straps off the bag, but they be cute. Oh, my little light just died. So it's not as bright, but this is the look. Hey guys, I just... Oh, okay. These Ubers come quick. I just called it. But I just finished getting ready. And I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I just filmed a TikTok, but here's my outfit. Misbehave set, PLT fur coat, Givenchy um, bag, and then these Alexander Wang heels. Finally getting to wear these. I've had these for a little while now. They just didn't really go with some stuff, but let's go. The next day i didn't vlog yet today i have not been feeling well this morning i woke up feeling it so sick so 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 sick um i was even like editing and i had to take i took had to take a nap because i could not stay up i was getting drowsy and i haven't even had any medicine or anything i just was not feeling it but this is gonna be my last full day here so i'm gonna go out but i'm gonna head out in soho and just get some content i think tresemme is having another event so I just quickly got ready and I put on this dress because I didn't get any photos in it yet. I'm going to see if I could just get some last minute content. I'm literally about to call my Uber and I just realized I can't find one of my memory cards. This has all my content like for the trip and even like some stuff from back home. I don't know. I'm like, I was just trying to look for it for the last 10 minutes. I can't find it. And I know I brought it with me one of the days in one of my purses. It's not in none of my purses. So when I come back, I'm going to try to look for it again. I'm praying I find it. And this memory card is about to be full in like five minutes, so I'm trying to save it. So we're going to head to Soho. I'll see you guys when we're outside. So yeah. I sound so sick right now. Oh, let's get some content. I kind of was thinking, I wish I was actually feeling well today because I was planning to film like a day in the life of a New Yorker, even though I'm not. But I was not feeling well, girl, at all. And I just seen that there's a solid core behind, beside my hotel. So maybe I'll try that in the morning. I'll see how I feel. I need like soup or something right now. Can you guys believe that I freaking have a pair of shoes, heels, and my clutch in this bag? This I didn't realize how spacious this bag was. I'm about to show you guys. I literally, I'm vlogging on my new camera, the Canon EOS R10 because I just didn't want to bring two cameras. This is for the photos. This takes the photos so nice, but you guys look. I have my clutch in here and then my heels are in the bottom. I also have like my wallet, my money, and like my lip gloss and lipsticks are in my pocket. They can still fit in here though. So that's actually crazy. The mini Antigona fits a lot. So I'm like shook. I'm so happy about that because I've never been able to do like pack stuff like that in a cute bag. And
Nice too. I am back in my hotel from being out and I am sick as hell. I feel like shit and I haven't eaten actually since like this morning, early afternoon. I had like my leftovers from Say Less and one of the workers who was so nice was nice enough to um because they don't have microwaves in these rooms and i remember back not not even back in the day because it doesn't even feel like it was that long ago but i remember hotel rooms having microwaves but yeah so anyways he like snuck into like the housekeeping whatever and used the microwave for me to warm up my food i'm so glad so i had that i have not eaten since i walk around like to the thrift stores and do like some thrifting and stuff which was really nice but i was getting sick so like i'm walking for like 10 15 minutes the cold is slapping my chest i'm like hot from walking and sweating but shit like freezing at the same time my head right now is pounding i just went to get some food most places are closed actually pretty much everything's closed but the girl downstairs recommended Capilia, it's a Cuban restaurant and I'm so glad um, like she was like no girl go here It's so good. It's open late cuz I just left and Couples were walking in like going on a date whatever. It's not fancy at all But the food Cuban food from even what I remember is really really good. I love Mexican food um, I know it's not exactly the same, but I love like South American food, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got I got um the pollo it's polla a la plancha it actually comes with a grilled skirt steak oh sorry i got the churrasco but they used the i got the chicken the grilled chicken from the pollo a la plancha because i want a chicken 
and they just put it with what would have came with the churrasco with some sweet plantains these plantains are so good and like they're so sweet i love when restaurants aren't stingy with the servings i got some rice and beans some what is it like fire roasted or grilled brussels i've never seen brussels sprouts look like this this looks like lettuce i'm used to it being like cooked whole but you can see they chopped it and then i think there's just oh i think it's just a chimichurri because it's a plant in this i think there's queso in this somewhere i don't see it though but yeah this is a lot of food and i'm just eating because i need to eat something they did have soup but I didn't want to take the risk because, I don't know, it just wasn't really, I just, I don't, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but this is really, really good, so I just wanted to re recommend this if you're ever in Soho, and it's late, and there's nothing to eat, but it's well seasoned, y'all know I don't play about my seasoning, so, <laughs> definitely, hitting the spot right now you see my nose is running yep hopefully i'm feeling better tomorrow i stopped to get some tylenol while i was waiting for my food well i'm just gonna eat so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow because i'm gonna try to wake up early this is my last day in new york <laughs> I love it here. I woke up really early this morning, like 5 a.m. I'm feeling so much better, you guys. That food hit, that food was good. And they gave me three pieces of chicken. Yeah, I woke up at 5 a.m. I did my makeup and just filmed any last piece of content that I felt like I needed to get out of here. I just refilmed um, one of my Get Dressed With Me's because I ended up tweaking the outfit, whatever. Got that done, I took off my makeup, washed my face, did a face mask, because I've been just my skin right now. I fell asleep in my makeup one of the nights, so. Yeah, I took a shower, packed up my stuff, filmed a little, um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I just filmed something like with the room. I'm literally all packed up, like everything is good to go. So now, we're gonna go gallivant around Soho. This is all I wanted to do today before I left because I have not gotten to walk outside in the day. I've been Ubering everywhere and just, yeah. So we're gonna go um, until I gotta check out. I'm gonna go to Joe and the Juice. I really wanna try. The food and the Advil made me feel so much better. I still sound sick, but my headache is gone. I literally felt like I banged my head on the wall. I'm just a little stuffy now, but every, like I feel fine. I don't feel weak anymore. So, um, let's go. What the? Uh-uh. Don't watch my screen. I've been dropping my phone my whole trip. But um, uh, driving, it's nine. The fact that driving is nine minutes and walking is only 10. Starting walking direction. Tells me all I need to know about um, New York. But honestly, it doesn't usually feel, where am I going? Uh-uh.
ended up grabbing this to go the go away dock drink i wasn't gonna but um my flight's in like four hours and i know i'm gonna be thirsty again and this is supposed to help with my cold they actually extended my checkout time i got here right in time and they're not gonna charge me they're just like girl don't worry about it you have until two i'm not saying until two but given that i've been extending my stay i mean yeah uh let's try this drink let's try it y'all i i look crazy it is so cold outside this is like regular for me but it still doesn't take away from the fact that outside is freezing and i don't walk in Toronto, especially in the winter. Mmm, that's good. This is carrot, ginger, and I think apple. That's good. I don't know about for ten dollars, cause I can make this at home. I was gonna get the herb tonic one, cause it had a lot more, but I had like red pepper, red bell pepper, and black pepper. That probably would have been better, to be honest. But whatever. <laughs> I'm on his side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put a whole cheese over like three faces, cause the fans can't see those eyes. People I shouldn't be beside. When I was an actor, they would go strapper just to sell food on Bieber's side. Many reasons why I'm this way, my girl, I just want to.